Hey guys, this is Eric from Invensys, and I welcome you to our YouTube channel. In today's session, we will discuss the various Lean Six Sigma principles that can help elevate our work efficiency. Before we start, let us quickly go through the agenda. To begin with, we will understand what Lean Six Sigma is, and talk about its three key elements in detail. Moving forward, we will talk about why one must adopt Lean Six Sigma, and what are all its benefits. We will conclude this session, by addressing all of the Lean Six Sigma principles in detail. I hope the agenda is clear. If you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about project management and its practices, check out Invensys Learning's Project Management Certification Training on Prince2, Project Management Fundamentals, PO, Capman and MSP. All of the necessary information is given in the description box below. Now, let's get started with the first topic of today's session, what is Lean Six Sigma? Every project manager wants to work efficiently in such a way that they do not repeat tasks and streamline workflow. Project managers have several methodologies to choose from. Two of these are the Lean Method and Six Sigma approach. Six Sigma improves process performance in terms of what is important to the customer or stakeholder. It is a data-driven project management process. On the other hand, Lean improves process performance via waste elimination that removes the chance to create a defeat and cycle time reduction. Lean principles help reduce or eliminate waste from the process. Whereas, Six Sigma focuses on variations and defects using statistical analyzes. Lean Six Sigma combines the best of both worlds. The combination of both these methodologies gives you the Lean Six Sigma principles that help improve process efficiency and quality. Not only does it reduce process errors and waste, it also provides a framework for overall change in corporate culture. With the introduction of Lean Six Sigma principles, the mindset of employees and managers is changing to one that is geared towards growth and continuous improvement through process optimization. This change in the culture and mindset of an organization maximizes efficiency and increases profitability. The American Society for Quality defines Lean Six Sigma as a fact-based, data-driven philosophy of improvement that values defect prevention over defect detection. It drives customer satisfaction and bottom-line results by reducing variation, waste, and cycle time while promoting the use of work standardization and flow, thereby creating a competitive advantage. It applies anywhere variation and waste exist, and every employee should be involved. Now, let's move ahead to the part of today's session and discuss the three key elements of Lean Six Sigma. There are three key elements namely customers, processes and elements. Let us talk about customers. The moment of truth from the customer's point of view comes when they experience your product or solution. Today's customers have more access to information and choice. They will demand the best at the lowest possible level and expect to be supported throughout their product experience. This is why the core of Lean Six Sigma requires an external approach to business processes. The next element of Lean Six Sigma is processes. With an outside and approach, it is necessary to define the value chain of business processes. Customers only pay for the product, not for inefficiencies like rework and residues. Lean Six Sigma helps organizations focus on consistently delivering high-quality results and improving the value chain so that customers get the best quality within expected time frames. Then, we have elements. Unless a well-defined business process transformation strategy is pushed at the most basic level, events can tend towards the existing state of affairs. Lean Six Sigma should be guided as DNA in the organization so that every stakeholder at any level speaks the same language and they practice what is preached. Now that we have understood elements of Lean Six Sigma, we will discuss Lean Six Sigma's benefits. The Lean Six Sigma methodology is at the core of an organization's approach to delivering results to customers. We will talk about these benefits in detail. The first benefit of Lean Six Sigma is the development of talent. Implementing Lean Six Sigma requires everyone in the organization to understand the principles and practical application of the techniques. This increases the focus on talent development and incorporates learning as a culture within the organization. Growth comes with better results and continuous learning slash retraining becomes part of the organizational culture. The second benefit of Lean Six Sigma is it is scalable across various sectors. Although there is a wrong perception that Lean Six Sigma is more applicable to manufacturing and engineering companies. In recent decades, with the application of these principles in other sectors such as BFSI, IT and retail, they have demonstrated that Lean Six Sigma techniques have cross-sectoral application capabilities. The third benefit enables quality delivery through efficient business processes. 
data-driven decision-making, increased productivity and greater transparency are direct benefits of Lean Six Sigma. A customer-centered quality focus ensures that customer voices are constantly heard and that services or solution designs and delivery mechanisms quickly adapt to new market realities. Also, Lean Six Sigma is the basis for high-tech deployment of technology. Lean Six Sigma has led continuous improvement initiatives coupled with digitization and implementation of high-tech technology. Lean Six Sigma is critical to a successful digital transformation and is part of a broader business transformation strategy for the organization. Finally, Lean Six Sigma contributes to brand value. Customers trust an organization that can respond to their challenges in a timely manner and solve them with integrity. Lean Six Sigma creates a human culture and a set of processes and practices that help build this customer success intelligence, thereby further enhancing brand value. Now, let us move on to the main part of today's session and discuss Lean Six Sigma principles in detail. The Lean Six Sigma's deployment is guided by the belief that customer value creation, customer orientation and their experience are the factors to success within organizations. The first yet the oldest principle is customer focus. No matter what business you are in, you should always put the customer first. Your company must prioritize your customers' needs because where would your company be without customers? Before making drastic or even minor changes, determine the level of quality or requirements that you have promised to your customers to align business processes and employees. The second principle is to define barriers to maintain consistency of quality. Many companies enjoy doing too many things at the same time without really evaluating what is most important to the customer and the company's stakeholders. Define your problem well and prioritize work accordingly. Having access to qualitative and quantitative data at this stage allows for a more rational approach to this stage. You must check the current status of your process before you can continue and make improvements. Without a doubt, identifying your value stream is what makes Lean Six Sigma principles so effective. In this way, companies visualize all steps in a given process and highlight areas of waste. You can make use of a value stream map that will help you analyze steps in a service environment. Now that you have compiled your current value stream, you can identify problems in your workflow and investigate their causes. To find out what is currently causing problems, perform a root cause analysis with a cause and effect diagram. The next principle is to eliminate inefficiencies and waste to create flow. Before you can make improvements and let your process flow, you must visualize and eliminate waste. It seems like an easy step, but both Lean and Six Sigma teach that inefficiencies are not easily visible, which is why it is so important to first understand what is considered waste and then understand how to reduce variance. If you don't see waste, you can't get rid of it. Keep in mind that, according to Lean Manufacturing, there are many different types of waste, including defects, overproduction, latency, underutilized talent, transportation, inventory, movement, and additional processing. We must be able to identify it and eliminate it. Inculcate the principles of Lean Six Sigma and promote a culture of responsibility in your company. No one wants to be a source of inefficiency, but when all team members focus on reducing waste, it fosters a culture of responsibility where everyone works toward the same goal. It is also hard to eliminate waste if you don't know the maximum extent of it. This is followed by an ongoing review and review process. Adding new employees, changing or manufacturing new products, offering new services, changing locations, etc. There are more and more ways to avoid waste and optimize your business. Based on Six Sigma principles, reducing variance and increasing standardization enable companies to be more profitable and achieve greater customer satisfaction. Doing things right always, or almost always, can be a challenge. Here are some ways to get started. Firstly, document your processes. You don't know how to improve? optimize, and standardize without a clear view of how things are currently being done. Then you can establish and share best practices. Reducing information silos also benefits your processes, encourage the exchange of good ideas throughout the organization. You must create checklists for processes so everyone knows and follows the same steps, this makes it much easier for new hires to get started while reducing the likelihood of mistakes for existing employees. It is also important that everyone receives the same training. For your processes to run optimally, all your employees need to be on the same page. You can use various forms and templates. This greatly reduces staff confusion when creating reports, responding to customers, logging errors, and more. Finally, you can automate everything that is repetitive, boring and therefore error-prone, speed up and perfect things by replacing some manual tasks, especially if there is an online application or tool that can do better. The next principle is to communicate and align people. People don't like change, 
which means that your employees at your company will likely continue to do what they do unless directed otherwise by management. Consistent and fluid communication and training, as well as employee retention across the company, are the key to success with every change, especially when Lean Six Sigma is introduced. It is important to encourage people to enjoy solving problems. Establish a culture of group problem solving using groupthink techniques. Ensure behavioral sponsorship for the new path throughout the organization, especially at the executive and managerial level. It is the responsibility of the company to communicate new standards and practices effectively and clearly. Make sure all employees receive training and feedback on the new processes and procedures. You can create new knowledge by creating a knowledge database or update your existing knowledge management system. You can also update your customer support knowledge base. You can provide the entire process for stakeholders and employees according to their specific role. And create process maps that adapt to your employees. Show your employees what has changed in your workflow. The final principle is to be flexible and adaptable. Change is inevitable, and each and every person in the organization will move through the change curve at a different pace. Be aware of this aspect, and make sure that the organizational structure and the leadership philosophy are aligned with the new realities. As you can see from the other principles discussed, Lean Six Sigma clearly requires many changes. You need to accept the change and encourage your employees to accept it as well. The root of this cultural shift should be data. You can eliminate fear by explaining the benefits of the change and showing employees how you made their work more effective with data. Six Sigma provides a highly scientific and rigorous approach to exploring, quantifying, and analyzing data that is essentially the DMAIC process. But it's not about doing this just once and then discarding it until a new problem arises. It should become an integral and intrinsic part of your daily thinking and of every project. As part of this culture shift, his company must always look for new ways to streamline the process and eliminate waste. Keep an eye on the data, review your bottom line, and adjust your processes if necessary. In this context, it is also essential that the use of Lean Six Sigma dynamically change business processes and build a culture of adaptability and agility across the enterprise. The Lean Six Sigma methodology captures the best of the Six Sigma and Lean methods of project management. By choosing this methodology, you will follow Lean Six Sigma principles and optimize process improvement once and for all. In short, Lean aims to reduce waste in the process, while Six Sigma aims to reduce process variation. However, both approaches go hand in hand to harness the full potential for process improvement. An integrated approach to Lean Six Sigma helps improve process efficiency, optimize resources, and increase customer satisfaction, while at the same time improving profits and reducing costs. With this, we come to the end of today's session on Lean Six Sigma principles. If this has spiked your interest and you want to know more about project management, I recommend you to opt for PMP certification training and clear the exam. At Invensys Learning, we provide various PMP certifications that will pave the way for your career in project management. For each of these certifications, we are accredited by respective governing bodies or courses in line with their guidelines. Post-enrollment, you will get lifetime access to a personalized learning management system. LMS has all the class recordings, live class, webinar links along with assignments and case studies to practice. All classes are live instructor-led delivered by trainers with rich domain experience. Thank you guys. See you in the next session. <music>